Hello everyone, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my current real skincare routine. If that sounds like you're thinking, then please go ahead and channel it So, I am currently in a bit of a rare situation where I don't have a bunch of different skincare products that I do have to test out for upcoming sponsorships and projects and whatnot, which it just doesn't come around that often. At least it hasn't for the past few months, which I am grateful. But at the same time, I can use whatever I want, which is really exciting. It might seem kind of silly, like why wouldn't you use um, what you want to in your skincare routine? But that is the reality of kind of being a skin influencer or testing out skincare products as a job. So I thought you guys might be interested to see what I actually reach for naturally when I don't have to test out specific products. Obviously this video is not sponsored at all. These are all products that I have been using the most over the past probably two weeks or so. It is going to be a nighttime routine. Obviously I do have makeup on and the main focuses as you might notice is hydration which hydration is always my focus anyway and then also barrier repair when your skin goes through testing out so many different products all of the time it can get very irritated and very sensitized so I am taking this opportunity to really pull back and basically just nurse is that the word nurse my skin back to health to its best possible state. Alrighty, first we obviously have to put our hair back. I'm going to use this new Medicube headband. So loud. It is red and it has a bow on it. Like, what more could you ask for, honestly? I'm gonna pop this on. Cute! Oh, and I should probably remove my jewelry because I don't want it to get cleanser everywhere. I do have waterproof mascara on today, so I am going to remove that first. I am still using this all of the time. It is just the easiest way to remove waterproof mascara. It is the Heroin Make Speedy Mascara Remover. Before I go into my full routine, I'll like put this on my lashes and then I'll go like tidy up for a couple of minutes to let it like work on my lashes and then come back to removing the rest of my makeup. You kind of just coat your lashes with it. and then you can move on to your oil cleanser. Now, I don't think you have to wait necessarily. I just like to wait about a minute because I feel like it just is easier to remove when I go onto my oil cleanser. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a sip and wait. Next, we're gonna move on to our oil-based cleanser. The one that I have been using pretty much every day is the Number Zen Quick Clean. It's so dirty. What's it called? This one's called the Quick Clean, but it is now called the Easy Peasy Oil Cleanser. Now, I do enjoy this a lot. It removes makeup well, and I do find it is a good one for when you do want to do a deep cleanse. Like, I'm sure you guys remember from my pore care video that just blew up randomly. But when you want to spend a little bit of time to kind of break down those blackheads, those clogged pores, that roughness on your nose and stuff, I do feel like this one works really, really well. Unfortunately, my top is broken and that is why I'm trying to use it up. So you have to like find where it presses down because it's literally broken. Oh well, I'll just do it like that. <laughs> and then start to cleanse the rest of my face. Other one that I have been using a lot other than this one is the Muji Mild Oil Cleanser. You guys know how much I love this and I'm almost done with this bottle too. This one I actually keep in the shower. So when I don't cleanse outside of the shower, I hop in and just use that cleanser when I'm already in the shower because it does work so well even if I'm in the shower with my face and hands wet. This is obviously on a day that I wear makeup. When I don't wear makeup, I generally use like a milk cleanser. I've been using either the Muji one once again or the... Um, Troy Arke, that's like a new one. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Troy Arke. I've been using that milk cleanser as well, which has been really nice for my dry skin. Here we go in the eyes. Now you can see that since I already used that waterproof makeup remover, my makeup is coming off so easy. And the waterproof mascara I used today was the Heroin Make one, which literally takes so long to get off. And it just took me like, that's it. It's off. 
my eye makeup is already removed. How easy is that? I'm gonna go wash it off, okay? Okie dokie. You can see that it removed it so well, right? Like I don't have any makeup residue, so perfect. Um, I'm just dripping everywhere. I am going to move on to my second cleanse. Of course, we have to double cleanse. Probably the number one cleanser I've been reaching for lately is the Tiam um, Snail and Azulene Low pH Cleanser. It is just so easy, affordable, huge size. Logan has been loving it as well. I noticed that he keeps like bringing it into the shower because I'll like have it out. The other one is the Needly Cleanser. I've been using this quite a bit as well, but obviously I'm loving my gel cleansers. They are both really, really gentle, really simple. Kind of just does what it needs to and nothing more obviously has the snail filtrate in it so it has that bit of a slimy texture but it doesn't feel that slimy it looks weird on my face now because i haven't added enough water so i am going to go add water and then wash this off it actually frames up really nicely i feel like i shouldn't have done it that way but i'm going to go wash this off now <laughs> oh my skin gets dry so quickly but before we apply anything to my skin i do have like two tiny little white head pimple like thingies so i am going to put um pimple patches on them I'm I'm gonna use my current favorite one, the Skin Food Seeker Clear Spot Patch, just because I only need the teensy tiny one. I've used up like all the small ones. I keep having to open new packs for the small ones. I wish they had more of the small ones. I used to be like really stingy with pimple patches, I realized, and I would only use it when I really felt the need to, because you know, it can rack up pretty quickly, like the price. And also it can seem quite wasteful, but I did realize like how much it costs to use these in that moment to make it not worse versus all the products you're gonna have to use if you make that pimple worse to kind of get rid of the scar is going to cost more in the long run, if you know what I mean. So I use them like crazy now. It doesn't matter if it's a big pimple, it's a small pimple, it's barely even a pimple. I use pimple patches like crazy and I feel like it has definitely improved the scarring that it leaves and pimples just don't get as worse as they used to. I'm going to go in with the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence as my first step. I've been using it for like a month or so I think. It's okay. I don't know. I... I might not see the hype, but I'm going to continue to use it, obviously. But I just took a little bit on my hands and I'm going to press it in. The next hydrating step is going to be the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Toner. I haven't talked about this one much, but this one is really similar to the Hadarabo lotions. For me, it's like, well, I know that's going to work. I know that my skin is going to love it. So I do get a generous amount and just... Oh, that's what my dry skin needs. I can just feel it like sinking in, my skin drinking it up. I have been using this pretty much every morning and night lately. Down on the neck, of course. It's simple, but it really does hydrate. So I have been using this one lately. As I said earlier, I have really been trying to be gentle on my skin. I have been using barely any actives or anything and exfoliating like not exfoliating essentially. At least in the traditional sense, I am barely even exfoliating. Instead of using like a chemical exfoliant or a scrub or whatnot, I have actually been using toners to exfoliate. I didn't do it today because I did it in the morning, but I actually exfoliate using just cotton pads and a toner. And the toner that I'm using, or like essence that I'm using, is the Quad Active Boosting Essence from By Wish Trend. This one does have 10% of willow bark extract, which has known to be an exfoliant, but a 10% of that is like so, so weak, like so weak, barely even an exfoliant. I think it's like one tenth the strength of Sal is a salicylic acid but it can still have really gentle exfoliating properties so this in conjunction with a cotton with that physical exfoliation is more than enough for me and I've been doing that daily rather than doing a strong exfoliant like a couple times a week so usually I've actually been doing it in the morning because this one's really really light and fresh in the morning so I just grab that some on a cotton pad these are the ones that I've been using for quite a while now white rabbit naked cotton they're really thin they're lint free they're really smooth and you don't need a lot of product with these ones so I've been using these these are the regular ones when I want like a little bit of extra exfoliation I feel the need for it. I have been using their textured ones which is the one in the purple container but these ones have a bit more of a texture on the actual cotton so when you want just that slight more exfoliation I've been using these. My god see my skin just drinks it up. I'm gonna add another layer. You don't have to use a harsh exfoliant you can just use cotton pads to exfoliate. 
exfoliate, you know, and your skin will be able to handle that a lot better. So that's the only form of exfoliating that I've been doing. I don't have any other exfoliants to show you because I'm not. Since it is nighttime and my skin just absolutely drank those up, I'm going to go with another toner. Yes, I'm excessive, but yes, I do have dry and dehydrated skin. And the perfect toner for that is the I Am From Rice Toner. You guys know how much I love this. And I recently included it in my Wish Trend box, Tina's Treats, in a mini version so you guys could try it out. It is just that perfect toner where you get the hydration, but you also get that moisture. So it's a great one to breathe the gap between your toner and then your next kind of moisturizing step and I absolutely love it and I know so many other people who love it. It also uses rice extract which can help brighten and even your skin tone and even help with skin texture in the long run. So I have been doing a double hydration with the Eason Tree toner and then applying my rice toner lately and my skin loves it. Look how juicy. It just loves it. See, it seemed like a lot, right? But my skin has already like absorbed it all. It just needs, needs a lot. <laughs> Next, I'm going to move on to serum. This is a new serum that I've been trying and not like trying for a brand or a video. Just like I have genuinely just wanted to try it since it launched, since it was very intriguing. And it is the BioWish Trend Sera Barrier Soothing Ample because it is what I need. Like it is all about repairing and helping that skin barrier. So I have been using it. It is a lovely kind of creamy, lotiony texture, I guess you could say. I honestly haven't been using it for that long. I think it's like a week maybe now, but I have been using it every night. I love the texture. I love the way it feels on my skin. For long-term results, obviously I haven't used it that long, so I can't really say, but I do love the user experience of it and like what it does for the skin. And oftentimes that's the only night serum that I've been using. I've been really simplifying my routine in a sense, even though I just use like three toners. Yeah, I mean, it feels good. It feels good. At the moment, maybe like once a week, if that, I have been using the Innisfree Retinol C Car Repair Ample. People always ask me about retinol and such, but I just don't really use it. Like I've only just started using it. And this is one of the very few products that I've used that has any form of retinoid in it. So this is what I'm using once a week or twice a week max. It's nice. I love the texture. It doesn't irritate my skin or anything, but I don't know in terms of long-term results what retinol has done for my skin. So I'll continue to use it. But yeah, that's my opinion on that one. Next, I am going to go in with eye cream. I've been trying to use this up for so long and it has lasted me so, so, so long that I just can't seem to get rid of it. It's the Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Eye Cream. It's really nice. It is light. It is hydrating. It is moisturizing and that's why I'm not getting rid of it and I'm continuing to use it. But nothing exciting because I've literally used it for so long and I just need to use it up because I know it's going to expire soon. I always put my eye cream soon in my bath lights. And then almost every night I do use my pear acne cream. You guys know this is my holy grail spot treatment. It is gentle. It is able to be used no matter what time of day because the texture is so light and invisible that you don't have to worry about it. I mean, I take a small amount and literally it just blends out so easily. It's like using moisturizer. I do use it as more of a preventative as well as to treat pimples. When I have like a huge pimple, I feel like it's not that strong enough to kind of kill it off but by using it like every day in areas that I know I'm gonna break out which is my chin it's pretty much the only place that I break out I just feel like I don't break out very often at all I'm literally like starting my period probably in the next couple of days and before like the week leading up to and during my period like I would get like two to three huge pimples but now I only get like a couple tiny little white heads if that so I definitely feel like this helps because I'm just using it daily lastly is moisturizer and <sighs> since I was restocked to my favorite the pecan cream I have been using it almost every day I just love it I don't know I don't know 
what to say. I just love it. I just noticed that I'm like halfway through this one too. <laughs> I'm using it up so quick. I just love it. It's the easiest moisturizer to just use day or night. It's the perfect texture. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. And I just adore it. And you guys can check out the other video if you want to hear me ramble on about it. But love, love, love. I take a very generous amount. Most people probably don't need that much. So don't copy me. But I just slather this on. And I don't know. It just does wonders for me. And of course, down the neck, skincare hack. Accidentally put too much moisturizer on your hands, so you're forced to put it down on your neck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when I want just like a bit more moisture, like a really rich moisturizer, which this is plenty on most nights, the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream. Again, it's such a basic product, but it is so good. The texture is lovely. I'm obviously almost done with this one too, but definitely going to restock on this whenever I run out. So that's my other moisturizer option for the nighttime. And then obviously, usually I would finish off with lip balm. I love this lip balm, but it is an absolute mess. It totally broke off when I was using it. It is the Mentholatum Melty Cream Lip. Yeah, but the premium one, not the regular one, the premium one, which is a little bit richer. They're both lovely. This was actually a gift from one of my subscribers. So thank you, Ujiko. But yeah, I totally broke it and I'm trying to use it up. I guess that is my current, the real deal skincare routine. This is what my skin looks after. It is very dewy, but I need it for my dry and dehydrated skin. And I do feel like my skin is just definitely healthy. It is not irritated at the moment other than the couple kind of red spots I have, but it's nowhere near as bad as it usually is. On top of that, right now it is hay fever season, which always affects my skin like i have such high allergy to like the spring like pollen but even in that season i feel like my skin is looking very very healthy you know and also oh my gosh you guys thank you so so much for 100 subscribers it just happened like yesterday but I think this is the first video that'll go up since I have hit 100k so you guys are absolutely amazing um come back to <laughs> check out one of these two videos to support me or continue to support me I would appreciate it a ton and I'll see you guys in the next video bye